Hello guys, welcome back to Love Advice TV, here with a brand new video for you today. I am Coach Steven, here joined by the lovely brand new Coach Samira. Hey guys. So guys, today we are going to tackle a topic that is uh, near and dear to my heart because um, it's all about the children, mm -hmm. okay? I don't have any children of my own, but you know, children are our future and it is very important that um, we keep them in mind if they are a important factor in your relationship. We get into relationships um, and build romantic relationships with partners mm -hmm. in order to build a future together, mm -hmm. right? Sometimes that future entails kids and um, it is very important to know how to act when children are involved. It is important to know when to be, that you need to be the best example for your kids as possible because they are going to internalize mm -hmm. everything that they, that, you, that they see you do and say. So uh, to get specific here, how do we give your spouse space mm -hmm. when you are dealing with separation issues or divorce requests when you have children together? How do you implement no contact when you have children together? How do you implement a radio silence mm -hmm. when you have children together? Um, it's a very murky avenue to navigate and it requires skill and finesse, okay? But the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is the well-being of the children because at the end of the day, they are the ones who stand the most to gain and the most to lose in this dynamic, right Samira? Right, yeah. I mean, it's important to keep the children a priority. Um, instead of using them as a pawn, right, right? Exactly. Instead of using them as a pawn, um, it's it's become very common for you know parents and spouses to really involve their children when it comes to separation, when it comes to divorce, and you know a lot of people don't see what a effect that has on the kids because you're being a role model for your children, and you know it's important for you to show them healthy boundaries and to show them like the intricacies of a healthy family. It's really important to really keep them separate from the problems and keep them, you know, just focus on them as children. Focus on their stuff, focus on their activities that they have to do. Not about what, you know, mom or dad did on a Friday or a Saturday and you tell your kids and involve them, right? You have to have good, really good healthy boundaries with them. So that being said, right, let's get into some techniques and, you know, basically the how-tos of uh, navigating a, a limbo phase in your marriage or your relationship when the children are involved, okay? So we already said, don't use them as a pawn, right? right? But how to engage with your spouse on a day-to-day -day basis, especially if you're trying to implement no contact, mm -hmm. trying to implement a sense of scarcity. A scarcity. So one, one thing that is important for day-to-day -day engagement with your spouse is to keep it business, yeah. right? The children, at the end of the day, not to sound so, not to sound callous about it, but in a sense, it is business. You got to make sure that they're fed. You have to make sure that they're going to school. You have to make sure that they are socializing in healthy ways. Mm -hmm. That the uh, the strife between you and your spouse isn't causing any internal, uh, mental or emotional issues that is preventing them from uh, from developing into uh, healthy healthy teenagers, healthy adults, etc. Okay, so as you would in in business on a day to day basis, in real business on a day to day basis, engage with your spouse in a cordial, friendly, and warm manner. No matter what transgression you feel was committed against you or any sense of betrayal or any feelings of resentment or hurt or pain that you may be feeling, keep it cordial, keep it professional, keep it warm, keep it welcoming, keep it inviting. Bubbles, butterflies, pretty pink rainbows and unicorns. Mm -hmm. Keep it hunky dory. It's all, but it's all for the kids. If you do this, you'll come to find that your ex sees that you are that you basically have your priorities straight, mm -hmm. right? Your priorities are your children, and in doing that, in doing that, you are being a good. How do I say? Not necessarily a breadwinner, but you are being a good head of household. You are displaying self-discipline, emotional self-control, which is something that I you you'll hear me repeat in throughout the videos. Emotional self-control is key. You are 
be you are uh, you are acting like a shining example for your children. Um, you are setting an example of what to do when you are faced with adversity, especially emotionally emotional adversity that is so close to home. We don't expect feelings of resentment or feelings uh, or negative feelings to come from our safe space, which is our home, our abode, our foundation. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it can really deal a blow to our emotional self, uh, emotional well-being, especially when we don't see it coming. But if you can deal with it, put your head down, yeah. push through it and do the work necessary to reach a reconciliation with your spouse and at least move forward in a healthy manner for the kids it'll only make you look good in their eyes, which is ultimately what you're trying to do when you're trying to mend the relationship. Mm -hmm. okay? And it'll help the children too in the long run, right? Because yes. when they're starting to grow up and they develop their own relationships, romantic or you know, friendships in general, they use you as an example. So it's really important to remember about the influence that you have on your children. If it does get hard that you don't want to be cordial with your spouse or with your ex, Think about it this way. Think about what if you were your kid? What do you want to see your parent doing? Is it going to be hard for you that your mom or dad tries to put you in the middle all the time? Is it going to be difficult if, you know, mom tells you one thing about what dad did and etc.? Yeah, it's going to be hard. So you have to really put yourself in their shoes and that will make you be able to have the, what's the word? The tools. The tools, to, the tools to go about and do what you need to do. I'm a, I'm gonna I'm going to make it really personal for you for you guys the viewers with children out there. Imagine your own kid, mm -hmm. ten years down the line, when dealing with a relationship in high school or dealing with a relationship in college or dealing with the same issues that you're facing right now, in the future, right? And they are experiencing the same woes that you are experiencing because you missed an opportunity to give them the tools and to give them a roadmap, to give them the playbook necessary for them to surmount this obstacle that they are, that they are facing at that point in time, years down the line, you know? It's, it's all about making sure that your progeny is emotionally well-adjusted mm -hmm. to face the obstacles and the hurdles and the adversity that they are bound to experience, it's inevitable yeah. that they're gonna come across this, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody experience, experiences both success and failures in love and romance, yeah. right? And it is our duties as parents, it's your duty as a parent, as a caregiver to your child, to equip them with those tools to succeed in their romantic relationships. Mm -hmm. So use this opportunity, more importantly, to instill these things in your child, you know, that should be a primary objective. And if you do that successfully, I have no doubt that getting your ex back, that fixing the situation with your spouse will simply fall into place like a puzzle piece, mm -hmm. you know, because they will see you as a, sh again, a shining example of the other half of this equation, you know, a good mom, a good dad, a good wife, a good husband a team player, a, a team player for the team that is your family, okay? A so, united front. A united front. Yeah. Don't miss out on this opportunity, guys, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, if you are facing any issues with uh, your spouse and trying to navigate, uh, you know, logistics of, uh, of raising kids, of uh, managing your kids' school life, social life, etc., while you know not losing yourself and not losing yourself into your emotions with your spouse and whatever it is that you guys have going on independently of that romantically mm -hmm. leave a comment leave a question below don't hesitate to go to withmyexagain.com slash coaching and book a session with either myself samira alex adrian our, our resident papa here or <laughs> natalie um, who um, to help you out, to help you navigate this gray, uncharted area of how to get your spouse back when you, are, when you guys have kids together, okay? So guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, to hit the like button, and until next time, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. We have a brand new video in store for you guys. Take it easy, guys.